Cruz Santa Benez would be a junior at her old school, the University of Phoenix. But after transferring this year, she is only considered a sophomore. That's because only 24 of her 60 hours transferred. Only a year transferred, basically, so I'm having to do another year here. Along with losing credit, Santa Benez might also need an extra semester to graduate. And she isn't alone. A 2010 university study reports that less than 55 percent of transfer students graduate in four years, compared with almost 80 percent for regular students. Director of Academic Advising Lee May says losing credits is an unfortunate part of transferring. It's a tedious process of trying to match an old curriculum with a new curriculum, and some things are just not going to match up. Transfer students from community colleges seem to have the most difficulty. Only 42 percent of them graduate in four years, and only about 75 percent graduate at all. Santa Benez blames a lot of the difficulties on transfer students being accepted late, registering late, and having difficulties getting into the classes they need. If I would have had the chance to, ch to um, apply a little earlier, maybe the process wouldn't have been so difficult. These difficulties are part of the reason that transfer students are significantly more likely than regular students to drop out or be ineligible after their first semester. Associate Director for Undergraduate Admissions, Rebecca Egbert, says she knows things need to change. I, I don't think I've seen as much momentum to get things moving uh, and, and, and create a much better atmosphere for this particular population as I have over the last, let's say, 18 months or so. What we really know is that it's important that we collaborate with our other campus partners in meeting the needs of this population. In Chapel Hill, I'm Cassie Scarcia, Carolina Week.